So, you have OBS, but you don't have one of those fancy stream decks, but you have a phone. So what? Well, use that as your stream deck. This is going to be a short one. You will need OBS. Duh. And Sammy. Now, before this video hits the 30 second mark, I want to tell you that you will need an Android for your remote device. If you don't know what Sammy is yet, it's kind of like an OP stream deck, except there's no kinda. It is OP. If you want to take a look at the basics, you can check out my previous video about it. Anyway, let's start from scratch. Let's create a scene. N no, no, no. I, I didn't mean it that way. I don't plan to get cancelled anytime soon. Create a text source. Add a second scene. And add something just to distinguish it from the first scene. Now, let's set up Sammy. Make sure it's connected to OBS. Again, you can check out my previous tutorial if you get lost. Create a deck named Scene Switcher. Then a button named That Scene. Double click on it. Add a command. Search for Scene. And then select Switch Scene. Click on the drop down. Search for the name of your scene. Save. Let's copy this button and paste it. Then rename it to That Other Scene. Double click on it, click on the scene drop down, and search for the name of your other scene. Save this button and then save this deck. Let's set up the connection to your Sammy. Go to settings and let's set it to the most secure password known to man. Password. Enter code. One seven three four six seven three two one four seven six Charlie three two seven eight nine seven seven. Just kidding. Seven, six, Please four. use a good password. Save and close. All right. Let's test this before anything. Go to Sammy Deck, open Sammy Deck, type the password you used 10 seconds ago, connect, load your deck, then test your buttons. Cool! Now remember that Android device of yours? Go to your Play Store, search for Leoran Board. Doesn't sound like Sammy, does it? There's a long story about it, but just trust me and download it. You can confirm this by going to Sammy Deck. Then click on Android version. See? Launch it. In the URL text box, you'll need your computer's IP address. If you don't know it, go to Sammy, Sammy Deck, and get LAN IP. And your IP address will be copied to your clipboard. Paste it somewhere to see your IP address. Now type this on your phone's URL text box, then your Sammy password, then connect. You may see the Select Deck screen, so select your deck and then load it. You'll be greeted with an ad. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Anyway, you'll see your buttons, but let's resize them because I forgot to do so. Saving these changes will automatically reflect on your phone. Test your buttons. Cool. That's it. Anything you can do on your Sammy, you can do on your phone. So do be careful with your Sammy credentials. The only gripe I have with this is that unlike tangible stuff like keyboards and the actual stream deck, there's no tactile feedback. But that's not Sammy's problem, nor is it my phone's. So if you have an arcade stick, stay tuned for my next video to set it up to control Sammy. You know, subscribe or something. Thanks for watching.